Good morning, good morning and welcome to another new day at In Touch, the 21st day of Wisdom Series. I am sure that God has been uh, speaking to you and training you in the matters of life as we are studying from the book of Proverbs. Uh, it's been a blessing to me and I'm sure it's going to be a blessing to you as well. I hope if you have not uh, been listening to the previous days, it will be great if you can start a new month with another day one and then if you can continue that will be great studying the book of proverbs is so beautiful because it adds the quality of life on earth you know i said that yesterday that uh, it's divine wisdom it's heavenly wisdom to live on earth and i'm telling you there is no other wisdom that can beat that amen before we go any further can we just close our eyes in prayer and come at this time and our day into the hands of god father we want to thank you for another new day in our lives. We thank you, Lord, for the joy and the gift of life that you have given us, O oh, Father. We thank you for your protection. We thank you for your strength. We thank you for healing upon our lives, O oh, Father God. Lord, we commit each one of us into your mighty hands and also the ones who are joining us and the ones viewing this, O oh, Father God. I pray that the word that we are meditating will speak life into us, Lord Jesus. We give you all the glory and honor and praise. Be with us, O oh, Jesus. Receive the glory and honor. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Yesterday, I gave an abbreviation of the word Bible. B-I-B-L-E. I said basic information before leaving earth. And uh, I was also uh, you know, updated by the same thing by Saumya. And what she said was, it's not just about basic information. It's also basic instruction before leaving earth. And I think I felt that that makes a lot more sense because... Bible is not just not information for us. It is instruction to follow. And that is the that is Bible. You know, as we are living on the face of the earth with a with a start and a stop of birth and death and life extends beyond that into an eternity with Christ. And so while we are on the face of the earth, Bible gives us clear instructions to follow in our life. So if I would want to say that, you know, Bible is basic instructions to follow before leaving earth and i felt that is beautiful and i wanted to share with you before i uh, get into this chapter so we are at proverbs chapter 21 today and uh, again every verse in this chapter as every other chapter is precious they all have you know beautiful nutshells of wisdom but there are a few verses that i want to bring to attention and for making it easier for us to remember chapter 21 let's read verse 21 chapter 21 of proverbs verse 21 it says like this Whoever pursues righteousness and love finds life, prosperity, and honor. In another version, it also reads, Whoever pursues righteousness and mercy finds life and righteousness and honor. And I love how NIV goes because it makes more applicable and it's more easier. And they are true to the original language as well. It says, you know, you know in life, we have a lot of pursuit in our lives. If you ask anyone who is... Uh, maturing and growing you ask a child you ask a teenager you know someone who has been able to think through life in its seriousness will definitely have some pursuit of their life and uh, and uh, the pursuit of life is definitely you would find that is something that people take an effort to achieve that's why they call i am an, in a pursuit of something could be a degree you know when you say that i am in the pursuit of a bachelor degree that means that they are putting their effort and in and time and all the resources into achieving a goal and that's why we call a pursuit now here it talks about pursuit of righteousness and love and that is beautiful now uh, the next part of it continues to say that when you pursue righteousness and love what you will find is life and prosperity and honor you know there is a good assumption that this verse is making over humanity. You know, in our pursuit of the spectrum of life, there are a lot of things that we can pursue. As I said, there's educational pursuits, there is religious pursuits, there is a political, there is economical, there is career. There are a lot of pursuits that humanity follows. But these three are pursuits that transcends all of that it transcends social political economical educational whatever that we can specify in our areas of pursuits see these three things are something that any human being would want to pursue after 
to after good quality life to have honor and to have prosperity you know or uh, righteousness you know these transcends all the other pursuits if somebody is pursuing after education that is for a greater quality of life and honor you talk about social pursuits you know could be political could be um, you know law whatever that you pursue after there is these three things these three things life prosperity and honor it transcends all other in in a individual pursuits of life and so as the bible gives us the wisdom to receive or to find that satisfaction to find the goal of having quality of life and righteousness or prosperity and honor here it talks about pursue after righteousness and love isn't that beautiful and i think that is true religion today amen hallelujah and i am now moving away from uh, a relationship that we have an outcome of that is displayed to the world through the uh, lens of religion today as i am a child of god the relationship that i share with jesus christ is understood or displayed to the world through the religion of christianity amen because i follow christ because i have a true relationship with christ the world you know proclaims my relationship as a religion of christianity but here is what a religion can be this you know you know expressed as true religion of christianity is to be displayed with these factors because that is what christ stands for of righteousness and love or righteousness and mercy in another version amen hallelujah i wish i had the time and the leverage to take the root words of hebrew and teach you from that but please make as your personal study it is beautiful it will blow your mind to see the truth in this verses but this morning i want you to understand that if there is something that we can pursue after in our life it is righteousness and love and what is righteousness righteousness simply means having a right standing with god and men that is the simplest way to put it forward and i think that takes a lifetime to pursue after to have right standing before god and to have a right standing you know it is to do with character it is to do with morality it is to do with who we are as a person are we people that follow or pursue after righteousness in our words actions and deeds in the person that we are do we pursue after righteousness amen because if you would follow that that would be a true uh, display of christianity again love love you know love mercy all of that they go together they are synonymous by nature you can't have mercy with love and love cannot be without mercy simple as that now when you pursue after love when you function the book of 1st corinthians chapter 13 talks about love you know how i wish and pray and desire and work towards having that quality of love that the bible describes to us in our lives when you and me pursue after that what you and me will find is the quality of life amen that cannot be achieved by riches that cannot be achieved by knowledge because people have tried that you know rich people see the quality of life let me tell you mobility it can be either in an auto rickshaw or it can be in a bmw the result is mobility it just about perspectives it just about comfort quality of life is not in the upgraded version of our utility measures that is not the quality of life the quality and the abundance of life is in joy freedom and peace that god alone can give us here the bible gives us the beautiful wisdom to say that when you follow after righteousness and love amen hallelujah i'm telling you this principle applies to every human being that principles of god never change whether you are a hindu whether you are a muslim whether you are a christian no matter what religion you talk about you follow the principle of following after righteousness and love you will find quality of life you will find prosperity and honor sometimes i you know we can get under the whole mask and the pride of christianity by somehow believing that 
unless you are a Christian, you cannot have the blessings of God. Let me tell you, God Almighty have principles that does not change. It does not change to people to people because God is not partial. You follow godly principles in your life. You will see the fruit of those principles as the Bible says, regardless of what your faith system is. That is the beauty of godly principles in your marriage. I'm telling you, I have a lot of friends who are not Christians by their religion, who have good quality marriage relationship. Because why? They follow the principles that are mentioned even in the Bible. So um, let me tell you, remind, remind you this morning, you follow righteousness and love, you will find life. You will find prosperity. You will find honor. But for eternity, that you need salvation. Amen. Following the moral standards of the scripture is not enough for an eternity with Christ. That salvation of your soul comes only by receiving Jesus into your life. That's another matter altogether. What I'm saying this morning is, is some beautiful principles that this wisdom is giving us. Hey, in your pursuit of life, whatever that you can talk about, be it education or career or social or political causes that you have as pursuit of life, here is something that you want. You know, we talk about the movie called as Pursuit of Happiness. You want real happiness? You want real honor? You want real quality of life? The wisdom that Bible teaches us today is follow after righteousness and love. You will reap the fruit of that. Amen. I hope you got me this morning. And then there are many other verses that we can talk about. But I want to just read two more verses and, you know, just connect it to following after the pursuit. You know, please understand that you and me, we need to depend on God. End of the day, you and me, we to sustain on the face of the earth with the abundance of God's choices, blessing upon our life. We need to depend on God. Our life has to be you know, founded on the rock of ages. Our life has to have a Christ-centeredness. Let me read verse 30 and 31 of chapter 21. Read chapter 21, verse 30 and 31. It says like this, there is no wisdom. There is no insight. There is no plan that can succeed against the Lord. Did you get that? Yeah. No wisdom, no insight, no plan that can succeed against the Lord, which means that there is wisdom and insight and plan that will succeed with the Lord. Hallelujah. Your wisdom will succeed in the Lord. Your insight into matters, your knowledge will be successful in the Lord. Your plan will be successful in the Lord. That's what the word says. Amen. So how beautiful it is that you and me can have a Christ-centered life where Christ becomes the Lord of my life. Hallelujah. You know, I allow the Lord Almighty to become the one who reigns over my life. My life becomes Christ-centered. And that is a beautiful life. I'm telling you, there is wisdom in that. There is knowledge in that. And the plans, they will succeed with the Lord. Without the Lord, it is vulnerable to failure. Amen. I told you, you know, it is. You know, otherwise we leave it for what? By chance and fate and luck and probability. We don't want all that. When you have a Christ-centered life, the wisdom... The knowledge and the plan will succeed. Look at the next verse. The horse is made ready for the day of the battle, but victory rests in the Lord. Hallelujah. Isn't that beautiful? The horse is made ready, which means that there is a responsibility that you and me hold to prepare, to be ready, to be equipped. Amen. Like how horse is prepared for the battle. But our victory comes from the Lord. The guarantee that we have for life is from the Lord alone. And imagine that this Lord is the Lord who loves us. This Lord is the Lord who loves you, knows you by name, holds your tomorrow. And he is preparing a place for you and me for eternity. That is the Lord who takes pride in saying that you belong to him. This morning, I want to encourage you by saying that, you know what? Rest your life in Christ Jesus. Give your wisdom, your plan and live in the centrality of Christ in your life. You will definitely see victory in our lives. Hallelujah. Align our lives 
yeah align our lives to the centrality of the lord almighty and you will see victory in your life amen as we prepare for our tomorrow be it our education be it our work be it our family life be it our relationship we all plan we all desire and we need to prepare for it but please remember the success and the victory you know is guaranteed when we are you know having the foundation of our lives in christ jesus so i welcome you today to have an assurance of that foundation of Christ in our lives. Hallelujah. Let me go back again and once again remind us what we read in 21 is what? When we pursue righteousness and love. Amen. When you and me in the religion of our life, in our pursuit of life, you know, you know, let it transcend everything else. Yes, we need to pursue after education. Yes, we need to pursue after life partners. Yes, we need to pursue after relationship. All that is good. But let there be a transcending aspect that we pursue after, which is righteousness and love. And the Bible assures us that you will definitely find life. You will definitely find prosperity. And you will definitely find honor. Amen. Both in the sight of God and in the sight of man. Hallelujah. And I pray that you and me will not rely on our own understanding and our own wisdom because there is no wisdom, there is no insight that can go against the wisdom of the Lord. Amen. So I pray that we will prepare for the life ahead knowing that Christ is the center of my life. Christ is the rock on whom I stand. Amen. Let our days be filled with hope, joy and assurance and confidence that our life is safe in the hands of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Let storms come. Let challenges come. Let persecution come. We can be rest assured that our quality and success of life is dependent on the Lord Jesus. I pray that as you pursue life, that will be your story. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day. And please take time to just let that just sink into your life. Take time to reflect back and say, how is my life today? See, it's one thing to hear and say, oh, that is good. But it is another thing to just reflect into these words and say, you know, how is my life today? You know, yes, I heard this, but what is what am I pursuing after? In all the things that I am running today after, what is it that I really desire for in my life? How, how is the principles of my life position? When you are able to do that, you will definitely find such abundant blessing that the word speaks to us. Amen. May God bless you. Have a great day and reach out to us. We would love to hear from you and uh, we would love to spend our time with you. Please reach out to us and Saumi and I, we would love to listen to you and pray with you and walk with you. You have confusions, you have questions, you are, you are looking for a clarity. We would love to speak to you. God bless you. Have a great day.